Okay, this is 2.1 number 9. This is also a particular problem from a student's homework. The first part can be the same to everyone. The last part will be a little different based off of the particular problem you have. So we have f of x equals x cubed. We want to find the equation the line that's tangent to this curve um, and parallel to this line right here. Okay. So I'm not sure if in your homework you would have already found the derivative of an x cubed, so we'll go ahead and do it. We have the limit as delta x goes to zero of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x equals the limit as delta x goes to zero of x plus delta x cubed minus x cubed, because that's what we have here, over delta x. Expanding the x plus delta x cubed is this. We have our limit as delta x goes to zero of x cubed plus 3x squared delta x plus 3x delta x squared plus delta x cubed minus the x cubed. So the x cubes go away. What we have left is the limit as delta x goes to zero of 3x squared delta x plus 3x delta x squared plus delta x cubed all over delta x. Now notice every term has a delta x in it, so if we divide those out, we'd have the limit as delta x goes to zero of 3x squared plus 3x delta x plus delta x squared. Now, if delta x goes to zero, this is a zero, that's a zero, so all we would have left is 3x squared, and that is what our f prime of x is going to be. So with that in mind, we are going to try to find um, the equation of the line that's going to be parallel to this. So first, it'd be helpful if we had this 12x minus y plus 2 equals 0. If we had y to both sides, we have 12x plus 2 equals y, or y equals 12x plus 2. Our slope here, which everyone should know what slope is by now, is that 12, the coefficient for the x. So we want to find out where 3x squared is going to be 12. Okay, well, divide by 3, divide by 3. x squared equals 4, so x would be 2. Okay, so uh, that would give us this, um, where this is all happening where x is 2. So let's see, f of 2 would be 2 cubed, which is 8. So we're looking at the point 2 comma 8, and our slope is 12. Now we use a point slope formula. y minus 8 equals 12 times x minus 2. y minus 8 equals 12 x minus 24 plus 8 plus 8, y equals 12x minus 16. And that's it. Okay, um, there were two answers to this one. Uh, the other one I should have looked at was whenever x is negative 2, f of negative 2 would be negative 2 cubed, which is 8. So now we're going to use a negative 8. We'll use the point negative 2, negative 8. We're out of space here, though. And m equals 12. So I'll have y minus negative 8 equals 12 times x minus negative 2. y plus 8 equals... 12x plus 24, because of the double negative. Subtracting the 8, y equals 12x plus 16 would be the other one. Okay, hope that helps.